Hi, everybody, and welcome back. So this is going to be the last installment of this particular haul, which is from an old jewelry store. I bought out a lot of her jewelry, and I've been having such a great time with it. Today, I have quite a few antique pieces and a lot of necklaces, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me through this whole journey. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite piece or pieces are. I would love to hear that from you. So let's have a look at the last piece of the haul. Here's a beautiful and colorful antique brooch. I know it's missing some stones, but I just couldn't resist it. How nice is this? Look at how nicely constructed it is. And there's the back. I suppose this nice bright gold tone is the way the front is supposed to look, but it, it has a lot of age to it, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So here's a beautiful old ring. Look at that really nice piece of art glass. I think that might be a little bit of a crack in it, unfortunately. Yeah, I love this ring. So this work on the side right there, it sort of looks like filigree, but that's actually referred to as canateel. You see, it's a little bit more raised up than filigree would be. So this looks like silver plated copper. And I just think this is a, a very beautiful old ring. So this is referred to as a love knot, and this is a very popular thing in jewelry. I actually really love this. It's unfortunately, uh, some of the gold is rubbing off here and there. That does happen with older pieces, but I think this is quite lovely. Isn't that nice? Here's an old Uncas ring. There's the U with the arrow through it. So Uncas started in uh, the early 1910s. They were based in Providence, Rhode Island. This is a nice collectible name brand. This is really a lovely sterling silver band, I think. Really pretty. That's a nice old piece. I believe this pin is from the 1930s and it is beautiful. I love this. I love older pieces. So charming. A little bit of wear to the gold tone here and there. Not too bad. It's old. Somebody clearly enjoyed this one. Very sweet item, I think. So here's a morning pin that doesn't have any hair in it. I believe that's just the blank in there. I think that's sort of uh, like um, some sort of a textured material, like a felt kind of a thing that would hold the hair in place. This would have been a very beautiful morning piece and I really like that it's not completed yet. There's our tube hinge, also called a T-bar hinge, and there's our C-clasp. So that's pretty nice. I'm gonna put this with my morning jewelry collection. Quite lovely. So I believe this is some sort of a Middle Eastern thing. Uh, it's two pins with a chain in between and uh, this is not real gold. It really does look like real gold. Doesn't it look like 18 karat? And I think it's just plated. Cool. Here's a great MCM pendant. Don't you love this? And it's marked Monet right there on that cartouche. Looks like someone had that engraved with 55. I don't think Monet did that. But I really love this one. Isn't that different? That would look great on a chain, I think. Here's a beautiful blue glass bracelet. Look at this. Wow. That's gorgeous. The stones are in great shape. So you can see some bubbles in there, right? Is that a bubble right there? Yeah. So when you see bubbles like that, that's when you know for sure it's not sapphire or anything. Not that we were thinking that, but just a little tip. It's a really pretty, pretty bracelet. I don't know if that's original to it. I'm not sure about that spring ring. Maybe, maybe not. Still a really beautiful bracelet. That's a great blue. Here's an interesting red, white, and blue necklace. Now, why I think this is very interesting. First of all, these beads are plastic and it's molded plastic. You can see the seams right there. But these other bits here are glass, and it's sort of weird, I think, the way they wrapped the glass around some of these plastic beads. Well, that one's probably glass. 
anyway, yeah, I thought this was an odd thing. It's just kind of a weird mixture of glass and plastic. And I didn't see any markings on it. This is a box clasp. Opens like this. I think this is also called tongue and groove. I thought that one was uh, just different. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Well, everybody loves mermaids, right? This is great. She has um, an unusual looking face. That is some nose she's got there, but I still think she's really pretty. This is a really sweet piece. This is sterling. You can probably tell that, right? There's the mark. And these beads, I don't know, are those glass or you think they're turquoise? Not sure. Not old. But I picked this one out because I thought she was really adorable. That's a great item. These earrings are really beautiful. These are nice and old. And that blue is just so vibrant, so nice. These look like they're maybe real silver. I'm not sure. They're the screw backs. I didn't see any markings on them, but these are just beautiful, I think. I love these. Aren't those great? So I know this ring has a lot of wear, but I couldn't resist it. I can never resist a good flip ring. And if you don't know what a flip ring is, I'm gonna show you right now. And this sort of turns and you can wear it the other way. So this is Siam, that's Niello wear. And I think it's really interesting. Somebody just wore this one to death. It's just so, so scratched. And it's real silver. Let's see if we can find the mark. Is that it? Yeah, made in Siam. And sterling, there it is. That one's interesting, I think. So how do you like this one? This one's great, right? Very, very lightweight plastic. And these all move, as you can see. How beautiful are these? Look at the different color stones. I think it's really interesting that they opted to put this orange color with pink and blue, and yet it certainly works. There's what the back looks like. This one is pretty amazing. This one's definitely one of my favorites. I love this one. How about you? Nice early plastic, very brittle. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing to me when I see things like this that didn't break through the years. I'm really lucky that this is all completely intact. That one's really beautiful, I think. So I'm not sure what this says. Is, is that supposed to say Romano? Hmm. I don't know. Is that a G and an L? Glaumans? <laughs> I don't know what this one says, but there's something really pretty inside. These are very lovely amber cufflinks. So I got these, and these are Russian, or some sort of Eastern European country. I think that's Russian, though. These are very pretty. And uh, they're not real gold. I can't remember what that says now. Let's see if we can get it. Hmm. I know it's not real gold. I think that's just the maker's mark. But these are really uh, beautiful, I think. And these are genuine amber. I tested these. But those were very pretty. And I love when you get stuff in the original box. I mean, I think this is the original box. Cool. Here's a highly collectible name. This is by a company, Jomaz. And Jomaz stands for Joseph Mazer. This is kind of gorgeous, right? And you may notice it's not marked but this is a uh, Joseph Mazur piece. They ran from the 20s till about 1980 or so. They were New York City based. And it is a Demi, so I'm gonna show you the earrings. Here's the matching earrings. So these are marked, and I think it's always interesting, but that, that is something that you see from time to time with Demi Perreurs or Perreurs that maybe one piece is marked and the other one isn't. So I'm really happy that I, you know, was able to find these together so I would know that these are Jomaz. Isn't that so pretty? Really great mid-century Demi right there. 
If you've been following any of this series, uh, I did get quite a few rings that are from this same era, maybe 30s, maybe 40s, brass or some sort of a brass alloy most likely. Really pretty. This stone is in really nice shape. Now I have another ring here where the glass is very scratched, unfortunately, but let's take a look at that one. This one, and that's just too bad, but you see the scratches on it? So I did try using toothpaste and that didn't help me. Oh, is this one marked? Huh? Yeah, that says Czechoslovakia. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. I love the sides, but the stone, uh, the glass is just really quite scratched. I am about to take a trip to a jeweler that I know just to get a bunch of repairs. He might be able to sand that down and just take those scratches out. That's what I'm hoping because I really, really love this ring. Yeah, that one's really neat, I think. So I was certainly hoping this is real gold, but it isn't. It is, however, very, very nicely made. There's a made in Italy right there. This is just beautiful. Isn't that so nice? I love butterfly jewelry. I really love this guy too. Or maybe it's a girl, what do you think? Yeah, it's probably a girl. That one's very pretty. So this is likely not very old, but isn't this pretty? People do like quartz, and this one is very, very nice, I think. I'm thinking this top part's gotta be sterling. It certainly looks like it is. It's very detailed. This one's very nice. That's rose quartz, I would guess, right? That one's very, very lovely, I think. Here's an interesting old bracelet. So I think this is Aries, right? Is that what the Rams are? That's what I think it is. This one is marked SB Sterling. It seems like this might be older. I'm not sure. It's pretty cool though. I really do like this bracelet. It's a nice one, right? This one's nice and heavy. Pretty unusual, I think. This is a very nice intaglio. I'm guessing that's maybe carnelian i uh, don't know i'm not sure if this was just a pendant and the necklace part broke or if it was a charm on a bracelet i'm not sure but it is very very lovely not real gold it's very nice though that's beautiful yeah that's a really beautiful item Here's some interesting old cufflinks. I like these. Maybe if those coins are valuable, I don't know, you think they might be? Probably not, right? You probably just melt that plastic right off there. But I won't. I'm sure they're nothing special. But that is pretty cool, I think. And I also got these cufflinks too. I think these are kind of cool. That's the mercury dime, right? So I definitely need your help with this one. This one, I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like plastic. I think it's maybe too old even to be, well, to be certain types of plastic. And um, it's not lava or anything because you can kind of see the white through there. You see it? So it's strange. It's very, very lightweight. I think it's old. I don't know. Just wondering. If anybody has any ideas, um, yeah, not sure. I guess it's supposed to be a bunch of grapes. And uh, I would just love to know what the material is. That white that's showing through is really kind of throwing me off. It might be celluloid. I don't think so, though, because of the weird texture. Unless that's just the texture of the paint. Hmm, I don't know. This one is a mystery. So if anyone has any information... Just please type it below, I'm curious. It's an interesting item, I think. Look at these beautiful earrings. Wow, those are so nice. The purples and the pinks. That's some great, I guess, art glass. I'm not sure if there's a specific name for that, um, that type of glass. It's very iridescent, it's very beautiful, I think. Oops, not marked. But these are um, beautiful. These are really beautiful, I think. 
Here's an interesting tassel necklace. And it is very, very nicely done, as you can see. And this is a designer, and this is actually a very collectible name brand. I'll show that to you. This isn't too old. It's probably from the 70s or the 80s. Alexis Kirk is the designer. This is actually my second time that I found this name brand. I know this is collectible. And uh, what I really like about this is it's, it's lightweight, so it would be comfortable. But I think that's a very cool design. I don't know. I really like it. Interesting, right? That'd be a great necklace to wear. This one shows a little bit better on my necklace model here, right? So I did get a few crystal necklaces too. I thought this one was particularly nice. That's what the catch looks like. It's a double strand. And that's some really beautiful AB crystals. They're in really nice shape. You know, sometimes you see these and they're a little bit scratched up. I thought these were pretty amazing. Just really in very nice condition. Some great colors showing there, right? That one's great. Here's one without the AB coating. And I don't know how old these are, but I just want to show you. Yeah, she was asking $95 for these in her shop. Not that that means that's what they're worth, but I mean, I didn't pay $95 for them. But boy, those are some facets right there. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful necklace this is. And those glass beads are in very nice condition too. Not all scratched up. Just beautiful. Wow, would that look great on, a, on black. Beautiful. I love that. So this is a very interesting necklace, I think. This is nice and short, and it may remind you a little bit of Miriam Haskell. And that's because the designer on this is Di Mario. So it, it is rumored that Di Mario worked for Haskell. Um, I think that's controversial. Nobody is exactly sure. What is sure is this company only ran from 45 to 65, and there's a huge collector's market. And you see that these beads are very, very interesting. And you can see why there would be a collector's market for something like this. It's just very unusual. Those are almost like pools of light glass or something, right? Kind of just different. And even that catch, look at the thought that went into that. Yeah, this one's really special. That's a great necklace right there. Great vintage designer necklace. Here's a big, heavy necklace. This is a really massive piece of jewelry. And um, let's see what she was asking in her shop. She was asking, what, 165? Well, that seems very ambitious to me. This is uh, by a company called Premier Designs. And I don't think it's probably worth that. We'll take a look at that. This is P and D right there. I have had this in the past. I've actually sold it in the past too. And uh, this is actually, it's a very, very nicely made. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice. It's very heavy. And that is some great stone there. But this one is Premier Designs. And I bought it because I thought it was beautiful. Here's another necklace. Now, uh, the yellow does not get much better than this. Look at these beads. I love these spacer beads too. This is glass, as you can tell. This is beautiful. Now there's no catch on this that I saw, but this is a nice long necklace. So this necklace is very, very long. It can be doubled up. Uh, and when you have a necklace this long, I believe this is referred to as opera length. What a beautiful necklace this is. Wow, this one's uh, really an A-lister. Wow, look at that. Isn't that so nice? Beautiful sunshiny yellow. So this necklace is spectacular. Now, I wish I had a mannequin to show this to you. You can see how big it is. It doesn't even fit on this thing. But this is just outrageous. And I don't know how old this is. I'm guessing this is Indian. It's very, very beautiful. Oops, it's in really nice condition too. So I really can't wait to wear this. This is just so unusual. And um, this isn't real or anything like that, but it has these little bells, right? So this sort of looks like uh, maybe something that was made in India. 
and here's what the it's a little bit longer than this so that's why I kind of tied it up but that's what the the hooks look like those two hook together anyhow that one is I think just really incredible this is one of my favorites it's just very 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 cool well, here's a beautiful necklace. This sort of has an Egyptian look to it, but it is likely from India, I would think, or it's certainly done in the, the style of. What a beautiful necklace this is. It's not very long. I'm not sure what kind of stone this is. You can see those are very, very matte. The red ones are shiny. It also has a nice sound to it. So uh, this is very unusual. Now I didn't have anything in my collection quite like this. So I think it's quite lovely. Just really not sure how to date this is all. There's a spring ring clasp. Very pretty though. I love that one. Here's what this one looks like. Isn't that so nice? Love that. This is a very interesting pyramid shaped pendant. And it is coarsely done. <laughs> wow, that almost looks like a cartoon face. This is really strange. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know how old it is or anything. Not sure, but this one I think is pretty cool. This is likely real silver, wouldn't you think? It looks like it's real. I'll have to test this one out. That one I just got because I thought it was very weird in a good way. Here's another beautiful crystal necklace. How beautiful is this red and the clear and some are ABs, some are not ABs. This one is nice and long also. And I really like the catch on this one. Check that out. Isn't that nice? Box clasp. That one is lovely. Wow. Look at the sparkle. Here's the last item for today. This is just an incredibly beautiful necklace. I'm not sure what this link is called. Um, I don't know, is this called a crinkle link? I'm not exactly sure, but there's the closure. Now this is likely, uh, I guess like stamped brass, but I think this is pretty incredible. What do you think? This one's really great. Yeah, hopefully you can really see how, how incredibly beautiful this is. So that's it for now. Thanks as always for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like this video, leave me a comment below with what your favorite piece is, and I hope you will catch me soon. Thanks everybody.